Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So far in K6, we have seen that how to install K6 on Windows and Mac OS. We have seen the basic intro installation and everything and we have created our first script also with the K6. And in the last session, we have seen what do you mean by get call, post call with the API and uh, with K6 and then how to write assertions in K6 as well. And that's what if you uh, see the script uh, over here, that is what we have written actually. So the script is also simple get api post api we have seen we have seen the various concept of like number of options virtual users and the durations in the last session but today we are going to talk about something important for the load testing use cases point of view that what do you mean by shared iterations and what do you mean by per virtual user iterations try to understand that so there are two use cases case one shared virtual use cases or virtual iteration use cases for example let's see i have around virtual user which are equal to let's see 10 virtual users and i want that these 10 virtual users should perform number of iterations is equal to 200 totally so shared virtual user means ideally if you see that that every virtual user it means i'm saying each virtual user should take around what 200 divided by 10 which is equal to around uh, 20 here right so 20 iterations ideally each virtual user should take but it is not exactly 20 it is around approximately 20 iterations will be taken by every or each virtual user because what happening here what's happening here if the particular virtual user is performing very fast virtual user means a particular thread a virtual or i would say a virtual thread or just like in uh, in jmeter we say it's a thread or we can say a virtual user over here so this particular virtual user is performing better as compared to other virtual user it might take more than 20 iterations also so there is no guarantee that every virtual user will take only 20 iterations it might take 20 plus iterations also maybe 25 or 30 iterations also so here the maximum iteration will be distributed among all these 10 virtual user are not fixed it's not exactly same virtual user will be uh, number of iteration will be shared among all the virtual users so that's why if you see the definition here the fixed number of iterations are shared between a virtual user and the test ends once the iterations are executed okay note that iterations are not fairly distributed with the, with this executor and a virtual user that executes faster will compete more iteration than others it means a virtual user is slightly faster than other virtual user it might take more iterations than others so that's what we have to use this particular shared iterations but in the per virtual iterations exact distribution so if you see this stat once again over here let's see if i have virtual user is equal to let's see around 10 virtual users and number of iterations are 200 then in that case each virtual user how many iterations will take so that will be again 10 200 divided by 10 is equal to 10 uh, 20 iterations it will take exactly over here okay so this is equally distributed and this is there is no guarantee that it will uh, distribute equally so both the cases are important for the load testing point of view we will see that couple of other use cases also so that's what it's written each virtual user execute an exact number of iterations the total number of complete iterations will be virtual user multiplied by iteration so obviously if you just 10 multiplied by 200 is equal to 200 total iterations here also 10 multiplied by 20 means 200 iterations will be performed but here there is no guarantee that each virtual user or a specific virtual user will take 20 or more than 20 so that is the difference between per virtual user iterations and the shared virtual user iterations how to use this in the option section you, it's very straightforward you just need to define virtual user iterations or a maximum duration also you can define that there are a default values like 1 1 and the 10 milliseconds virtual user will be an integer this also will be integer it means number of virtual user to to run concurrently okay the concurrent virtual users that you really want to generate and total number of script iterations to execute across all virtual users so i'll do one thing i simply go back to my script here and then uh, i'm going to define that total virtual users i need for example 10 and number of iterations i really want so you simply write iterations let's see 200 iterations i really want that and the duration is around let's see 30 seconds so this is what i have written let's see maximum duration i have written here max duration 
same script uh, you can just check it over here maximum duration iteration and the views also here and then we have to use one more executor we have to define that what type of executor it is it is shared or per virtual user so here i'm going to define here that i want shared iterations here it means i don't want to distribute equally but total iterations i want 200 among 10 virtual users so any virtual user can take 10 20 or max uh, more than 20 also so with this op with these options if you run this particular test let's see how exactly we can run it so i'm just do one thing same sim simple simple right go to k6 run and whatever the script name get api.js make sure you just first save it and then run it so when you run it here you can see that 200 share iterations has to be performed i mean have to be performed and then it's taking uh uh number of iterations got started and then you can see that the count is completed number of iterations and zero interpreted interruptions so far and then after that whatever the the matrix the whatever the result that we are getting you can just cross check here that how many iterations actually performed 200 iterations got performed 9.629 seconds uh, per second and then uh virtual users are 10 and maximum virtual user that you use 10 over here which is perfectly fine and then you can see the result over here as well so here you can see that uh, the http request duration which is average that we are getting around 27.16 12.87 is the minimum mid and maximum we are getting here so number of iterations 200 here and then the same in number of iterations you can see 200 by 200 share iterations got completed okay so perfect this is absolutely working fine among all 10 virtual users now what is the use case of this the use case is very very important sometimes see this example when to use that this executor is suitable when you want a specific amount of virtual users to complete a fixed number of total iterations and the amount of iterations per virtual user is not that important let's say you have one transaction you really want to let, let's go to an e-commerce application and you really want to perform a particular search and then add to cart and then the same search is uh, will be done by 100 virtual users or 100 users and then there is no guarantee that a specific virtual user will perform that particular search more than one time or 10 times or 100 times or 10 iterations or more products they really want to search with more varieties of search in that case we can go with this particular approach where the number of distribution the iteration distribution is not important to a specific virtual user so that's what is return to complete a fixed number of iterations, I want that, okay, no, 50,000 iterations should be performed by 1,000 users, but the distribution of the load is not that important, or distribution of the iteration is not that important. So in that case, I'm going to use it here. This will be the most efficient use of virtual user. Therefore, time to complete a number of test registration is your concern, okay? This executor should perform the best. So this is obviously better because in production, you cannot decide that, which particular user will perform less number of iterations or higher number of iterations so it's always not distributed equally uh, distributed on the basis of the shared basis so that's what in that case is one of the best use case to perform the performance testing and then example use case uh, could be incorporate a quick performance test so let's see i am a developer and i really want to give my build to you so during my cicd pipeline during my build cycle uh, during the development as a developer uh, compile their changes the test could be executed against the local code to help ensure against the performance regression so that will give you a better guarantee or better performance confidence to my code that i have written as a developer before giving it to the qa before running for the performance regression test cases point of view that okay yeah this particular use case or this particular api is actually working fine with these these number of uh, virtual user and iteration combinations so in such cases we can use that and that's what this could be considered as a part of sh left shift or shifting left placing more emphasis on the performance early in the development life cycle perfect this is a very good example of left shift testing also before moving to the production or before going to the uh, qa side better in the pipeline itself like in the uh, immediately after the build itself i really want to quickly check the performance of the uh, test 
uh, with this particular concept and it's very very straightforward configuration you can see that no nothing code i mean no need to write any extra code simple parameters options you pass and then absolutely good and it's giving you the result and you can analyze that how many uh, iterations or how many apis are giving you timeout or something okay now let's talk about the per virtual user iterations per virtual user iterations means as i told you that an exact number of iterations each virtual user will take for example so if you see this that virtual user at 10 a number of iterations i really want to perform 200 so each virtual user is not taking approximately 20 or more than 20 we have distributed the iterations among all the virtual users equally so each virtual user take will will take 20 iterations over here right so this is another use case what we just need to do same configuration the only thing is that we have to pass the executor as per vu iterations okay so let's uh, take this as well so i'll go to my script instead of shared virtual users i'm going to use per virtual user iterations so now the number of iterations will be distributed among all 10 virtual users equally each and every virtual user take will perform 10 sorry will perform 20 iterations 200 by 10 is equal to uh, 20 iterations it will perform the same example that is what is written and you can see this example also this is an observation also that is what they have written with the same example and you can just uh, check it and then we can run it okay so use case use this executor if you need a specific amount of virtual user to complete the same amount of iterations okay this can be useful when you have fixed set of test data that you want to partition between virtual users that's a really good example that let's say you have a fixed set of test data that every virtual user will perform uh let's see a transaction let's see a search transaction and then add to cart the same product and uh, same uh, order will be replaced uh, for that particular user and this other 20 users also will do the exactly same thing right so same number of uh, virtual users and they are doing the exactly same thing same iteration they are performing with the same test data or fixed set of data that they really want to use that so in that case in such use cases i really want to check the performance of the system so i can use this particular configuration also not one of the best one because obviously shared iteration is one of the best example to uh, to perform the better load testing and performance testing but this option is also given over here okay so let's quickly check this as well that what kind of uh, simple executor we have to use iterations maximum duration that is what we have given clear the console and run the same script you can pass these options from here also and uh, and then from the options also you can pass it so see it's saying that uh, total 200 virtual users has to be performed let me just uh, one thing just i did not save it actually let me save it and let me clear the console and run it again so now you can see that yeah it got started here once again and then 10 virtual users it's saying that 60 70 80 got completed and once total 200 will be completed then uh, we will see the report here accordingly okay now the distribution is actually equally done with each and every virtual user so here you can see that total 200 iterations and uh, 1 to 10 maximum virtual user that you actually used here you can see that one virtual user to 10 virtual users participated so minimum is 1 and maximum is 10 over here and this is the request duration this is the most important matrix like http request duration we have to check that average time it took around 36.36 millisecond which is actually slightly higher than the previous one the the shared one right so like this you can just check and then you can just present the data to the developer and then they can just check it accordingly that in this particular scenario what is happening with my with my apis what is the response or throughput that we are getting here so i hope it's clear between uh, then you can do your own experiments increase a virtual user and then number of iteration that you really want to increase and then try to observe the result let's see i'll do one thing with the same thing let's see thousand virtual users and uh, i total iterations i want let's see ten thousand okay and uh, okay let's see per virtual user iteration it's a, such a high config i mean such a high number of iteration that i really want okay let me save it and let's see once again what happens over here so see 10,000 total iterations it will perform but after some time ideally it should uh 
you know, it should give me some timeout exceptions or maybe some timeout of the API it should start giving. So let's see, see around 364, 490, 531 completed. And we are actually hitting simple this k6.io API. Okay, this particular page that we are hitting or any API that you have that we are hitting. So let's see k6.io, I'll just open it. And then yeah, okay, this is the page that we are hitting. You can hit any API and now you can see that request started getting failed after some iterations. Can you see that we are getting unexpected UF or something like that. Okay, so request fail now. So we will keep observing that up to 10,000 share iterations. How many errors or request is it really getting failed or not here? Okay, so see now you can see request timeout we started getting now. The request timeout is started because now the request is not completely fulfilled and the request timeout getting started now nice so here you can see still like around 4000 uh, iterations are completed after 10,000. so like this we can just check the performance of the apis and then we can cross check accordingly so i'm not going to run it completely it will take some time so i'm just pressing ctrl c to cancel this and then you can see that uh, the duration time uh, uh, and all the other matrices and then here uh, virtual user thousand but although we did not execute it completely but anyway so you can just observe the result accordingly but here the important thing is after some iteration they started giving me the request timeout for the APIs it means API is not responding properly because it's giving you timeout because of the such a high load that we are giving here perfect so you can just perform same thing you can do it on the post api get api and all such things in the next video i'll tell you get and put apis also how to write the code for that and then you can just do your configuration as per this share iteration and the per virtual user iterations so that's all for this particular video guys i hope you liked it if you like it please subscribe to the channel share this k6 series with others as well who are looking for performance testing tool and let me know in case of any issues i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all